Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is day 7 of Crime Mas, and today we will be talking about the very unfair murder case of Jennifer Laude. Jennifer Laude was born on November 4, 1986 in Olongapo City, Philippines. She was a doting child to her parents and served as their breadwinner. Now, I am not sure when or at what age Jennifer started to transition, but yes, she was a transgender woman. At the age of 26, she was living life to the fullest. She had her family's support, friends who loved her very much, a community that had her back at all times, and most importantly, she was engaged to a German national. On October 11th, 2014, Jennifer was hanging out with her friend Barbie in a bar called Ambience Disco. And this was located in her hometown of Olongapo, which was also the location of the Subic Bay Free Port, which used to be the home of the Subic Naval Base, the largest U.S. Navy base outside the United States at the time. Now, on the same night, Jennifer met 19-year-old Joseph Scott Pemberton, a Lance Corporal serving in the U.S. Marine Corps. He was originally from Bedford, Massachusetts, but his ship was docked at Subic Bay. The two headed off and decided to go to a nearby motel. Jennifer's friend Barbie also had her own companion. The two pairs decided to check into the Salzone Lodge and went into their separate rooms. Thirty minutes later, Pemberton left the hotel leaving the door slightly ajar. And thinking that they had already checked out and they were finished with whatever it was that they were doing, the motel staff went inside the room to tidy up the place, only to find Jennifer dead inside the bathroom. Her body was only partially covered. She was covered in bruises and had strangulation marks on her neck. And on top of all that, her head was also submerged in the toilet bowl. Her body was taken for an autopsy and it was later revealed that her official cause of death was asphyxiation by drowning. Now, arresting Pemberton was easy. He was immediately identified as Jennifer's companion that night because the staff and Jennifer's friend Barbie saw him. Three used condoms were said to have been recovered from the motel room, and forensic experts from the U.S. Army Criminal Investigation Laboratory determined that one of those condoms, as well as a wrapper, indeed had Pemberton's fingerprints on it, further linking him to Jennifer's assault and murder. Now, due to this evidence, Pemberton was detained by the U.S. Navy in Camp Aguinaldo, the headquarters of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. On December 15, 2014, he was charged with murder due to the presence of treachery, cruelty, and abuse of superior strength. He tried to appeal this but was denied. He also entered a not guilty plea, saying that he only acted in self-defense. The members of the media were completely banned from the courtroom as this case was already the talk of the whole country. Now, the Laude family was also allegedly offered 21 million pesos or 468,000 US dollars to lower the charge from murder to homicide, but rejected the money and instead sought out for justice to be served. However, on December 1st, 2015, the Olongapo Regional Trial Court found Pemberton guilty of homicide and not murder citing mitigating circumstances including Jennifer not disclosing her gender identity. Joseph Scott Pemberton, who took an innocent woman's life, was given a sentence of 6 to 12 years. And according to the prosecutor, the killing only accounted to homicide and did not meet the standards for murder. And in the court's view, Pemberton acted out of passion. Pemberton was asked to pay a fine to the Laude family that totaled to 4.5 million pesos. So that was 50,000 pesos for civil indemnities, 
4.3 million for loss of earning capacity, 155,000 for funeral and burial expenses, 50,000 for moral damages, and 30,000 for exemplary damages. On March 2016, Pemberton was denied bail. However, his maximum was sentenced from 12 years to 10. And on September 2, 2020, the Olongapo Regional Trial Court granted his motion of reconsideration, therefore releasing him from prison. Five days later, then President Rodrigo Duterte granted him an absolute pardon. According to the American Marine Corps, Pemberton would be facing a court martial upon returning to the United States to determine if he would receive additional punishment and whether he is qualified to remain in the service. However, this did not happen and Joseph Scott Pemberton, who murdered an innocent woman just in 2014, is now a free man. Pemberton, who brutally took 26-year-old Jennifer Laude's life, never issued an apology to the Laude family. He was never even remorseful and just kept on justifying his actions based on the fact that he did not know that Jennifer was a transgender woman when he asked her to come with him to the motel. And honestly, this case really infuriates me and a lot of people here in the Philippines. And this has caused a lot of rallies to happen, but to no avail. Um, and that's all that I have for you guys for today's video. I would really love to hear your thoughts on this case. And should there be any other case that you would like for me to cover, please let me know by leaving a comment. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys tomorrow.